Our second guest is Amir London, the CEO of Kamada Pharmaceutical, a leading innovating Israeli pharmaceutical company located in the city of Rehovot, which is a, a very large industrial a high-tech a park in Israel. Very interesting place to visit. And uh, I want, now want to turn to, to Mr. London. Hi, how are you this, uh, today? Very good, thank you. Thank you for having me. Okay, well, first of all, well, you run a large company. How do you cope with the current regulations and restrictions? Uh, how do you protect the health of the Kamada employees nowadays? Sure. So we have two, we are Israeli-based uh, biopharmaceutical company, um, publicly traded on uh, Nasdaq and Tel Aviv Exchange. Uh, we have two sites in Israel. You mentioned the Rehovot site, which is mm -hmm. our headquarters and where we have our R&D labs. Mm -hmm. But majority of the people, majority of the employees are working at our plant, which is in Beit Kama, mm -hmm. which is a little bit north of Be'er Sheva in the south. Right. We have around 420 people in the company in total, around 330, 340 are working at the plant on the operations side in Beit Kama. Mm -hmm. and the, the balance, the rest are working here in the Rehovot the main office. So, of course, when the corona um, uh, broke into our life, uh, we were well prepared uh, in terms of getting ready. We were following the news from, from the East and what's happening in Europe, and we, we got well prepared in advance. And we took all the needed, you know, precautions and implemented the right procedures based on the Israeli Ministry of Health regulations in terms of segregating people and making sure that people work shifts and with, with minimum overlap. People that can work from home are working remotely, uh, mainly here at the Rehovot uh, offices, uh, where the people at the plant are adhering to all the requirements, regulations. Uh, so luckily, so far, and I hope this will stay this way, we were able to continue operation almost as usual, uh, being a pharmaceutical company and being on the essential uh, list uh, or essential plant list of the Israeli government. We did not stop even for one day. Uh, we make, you know, the needed pharmaceutical needed product that we make. Uh, we all also have a program, a very innovative program that has to do with Corona itself. We are developing an antibody uh, for yeah. Corona, and I'm sure we'll talk about it uh, in a minute. And we're also a big importer to Israel of drugs or pharmaceuticals from uh, other countries. So we were able to maintain and to keep all that operation uh, with no interruption uh, continuously since basically the, um, the Corona Mm -hmm. You know, start and, and while protecting the health of the employees themselves, not to the risk, of course. Absolutely. So we keep all, like, like I mentioned, we keep all the regulations, and mm -hmm. so far, so good. I hope it will stay this way <laughs> uh, in, into the next few weeks. Uh, as, as okay. Of course. So now um, you are dealing with uh, many kinds of pharmaceuticals, as you mentioned, but what I really want to hear about is what are you promoting with regards to the coronavirus? Okay, great. So the technology that uh, we, we have in Kamada, our main technology, has to do with what's called plasma-derived pharmaceuticals, meaning that our source material, our raw material, is human plasma, which we know how to purify into specific proteins and specific antibodies, or in our language, it's called immunoglobulins. Mm -hmm. So basically what we do, and we have two FDA approved products, is to take plasma, human plasma, like I mentioned, and purify it into those specific antibodies. When the corona uh, disease uh, broke into our life, we immediately knew that we have a technology which could be very powerful in this case. And the reason is people that recover from the corona, sick people that recover, recover because due to the fact that their immune system develops antibodies for that virus. Mm -hmm. So if those people, what's called convalescent patients, mm -hmm. donate plasma, we can use their plasma donated by the people that have cured from the disease in order to purify this into the specific immunoglobulin, the specific protein, mm -hmm. 
and then give that protein, give that immunoglobulin to the sick people, to the severely ill patients. Mm -hmm. So basically what the plan is, what we are doing, is to take that plasma from the convalescent patients and to boost the immune system of the sick people mm -hmm. with extra amount of antibodies specifically for mm -hmm. the corona. Well, so, I, have, so I, have to, I have two questions about it. First of all, are, are the people that you are taking plasma from, are they all Israelis that have recovered? Or is it possible to take plasma from citizens of other states? Correct. So we started with Israel. This is our immediate reach. But of mm -hmm. course, we have relationship and we have connection also outside of Israel. And we are in discussions, or hopefully also potentially, to bring also plasma from outside of Israel. But mm -hmm. currently, Currently, the main focus, our main focus, is on the Israeli population, on the yeah. Israeli sick patients. We're working with the Israeli MOH, working yeah. with MADA, who is responsible for collecting the plasma in the Israeli, uh, from the Israeli population, working with the local hospitals in order to develop. The, yeah. the product is not available yet. We are currently still working on the development mm -hmm. using plasma from Israeli convalescent patients in order to develop the product, manufacture it, and in a matter of short period of time, it mm -hmm. will be available for the severely uh, sick patients in Israel. Mm -hmm. One other question, I'm just curious, when you take a, the, the plasma from a, from a donor and you purify it and, and they receive the antibodies, is it, is it a fixed amount or are you able to somehow uh, manipulate it and, uh, and reproduce it into a, a larger number of antibodies? Excellent question. So our technology is a technology of purification. So mm -hmm. basically we are able to purify what already exists in the plasma pool, in the plasma donation mm -hmm. we receive. There are other companies, this is not part of our technology, that are able also to um, ferment, to do like a fermentation process we can grow antibodies into a bigger scale. Our technology, which is, has been around for many years, and like I mentioned, we are an FDA-approved company with an FDA-approved technology, been around for over 30 years, selling in over 30 countries. So that's a very mature, robust, mm -hmm. available technology that we've put to work for the corona crisis now, using all the know-how and technology and experience that we've gained over the years working on other viruses. Mm -hmm. And uh, another question with regards to, not to the process itself, but I know that uh, the pharmaceutical uh, industry is very, very, is harshly regulated, I could say, uh, either by Israeli authorities, FDA, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and everything that you just say, taking a donation or anything like that, usually takes time to receive all the uh, improvements that are required, uh, I don't know, uh, from the Ministry of Health, etc. Do you feel that currently, both in Israel and worldwide, uh, are regulators doing anything to make things easier on an innovative company like your own, uh, like, like Kamada, in yes. order to, to come up with a solution to the coronavirus? Yes, absolutely. So all regulators, this is true for the FDA and for the Israeli Ministry of Health and other regulators that we are working with, understand the criticality, understand the urgency, and many roadblocks, and many things that usually take months, now take weeks. Things that take weeks, take days. Uh, there are specific, special regulatory uh, procedures or regulatory path for such a, a unique uh, situation, and the regulators are allowing to move forward in a much faster pace than usual, because of the urgency. Now, it doesn't mean that those products will be fully approved in terms of all the regulatory process it usually takes, but there are different things that have to do with investigational products, with what's called compassionate use that are uh, becoming available, are available for innovative pharmaceutical companies like us to start uh, uh, treating patients. Of course, it usually starts, or it always starts in those cases, with the most severely ill patients, and then basically cascades to the less severe over time as you get more and more information about safety and the efficacy of the product in development. Mm -hmm. And now, 
Another question in, in a more uh, larger view. I mean, you, you are CEO of a large pharmaceutical company. You travel around, well, you're not, we're not traveling around, around the world nowadays, but I usually travel. you travel around the world and see right. other companies and, and, and see other innovation in other places. If you can say, if, if you can pinpoint, in what ways is the Israeli innovation different than in other places, if at all? Yeah, so yeah, it is different. I think the amount of innovation and the quality of innovation that comes from Israel is huge, is, 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 is really something to be very proud of. Um, and our ability in Israel to move fast and to dedicate it, the resources that we have, which are usually smaller than what's available, you know, in Europe and the US and China, Japan, Korea, but to really optimize the resources that we have in order to move fast and to identify the right partners that will, strategic partners, that will allow us to take those products forward, I think that's a significant trait of Israelis in general. And I can testify about Kamada. So we focus on our technology, we focus on the things that we are good at, uh, but we know how to partner. And we have a, a, an array of collaborations with strategic partners global partners that we work with in order to be able to apply the needed resources to take our products globally and to be able to be a global leader in the plasma-derived therapeutics. Well, Amir London, the CEO of Kamada Pharmaceutical, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me, and I hope that Kamada will be one of the solutions to this uh, disease worldwide. Thank you very much. We, we all do. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and before we go to our news updates, we're taking a very short break, so stay with us. We'll be right back. When you want to know what's happening in the Holy Land, <laughs> Newsreel gives you the latest news feed from Israel. Follow our live coverage of the topics that interest you. 